Hello and welcome to Suncoast Kids Online. I am so excited today because one, it's the start of the summer holidays, yay! But also, Suncoast Kids is back in person for all our age groups. So if you're one up to 14, please do join us at some point at Suncoast Church. We would absolutely love to see you, especially if you've not been in ages. But I also have some other good news to share with you, which is that Mr. Monkey is back from his holiday and he is going to help me with the story today. So what are we waiting for? Let's take a look. Now today's story is about a man called Joseph and he had 11 brothers. Imagine that. That's 10, but close. One more. Mm, yes, so there were 12 brothers in total. That's right. But do you know what? Joseph's dad liked Joseph the best. And do you know what? He gave him a very special coat to show him that he was his favourite. Mr. Monkey, isn't it? <music> Joseph's brothers hated him because of that coat. And you know what they did to him? Well, they put him in a pit to start off with. Yes. But then, do you know what they did? They sold him to slave traders who took him off to Egypt. Mr. Monkey, where are you going? Mr. Monkey, come back. Oh, I didn't really mean for you to go to Egypt. How are we going to finish the story now? Oh, Mr. Monkey. Oh, who can we get to tell the story now? Ah, I know. Father Michael. Father Michael. Father Michael. Father Michael. Father Michael. Here's a poem about someone in the Bible called Joseph. Joseph was a lad, he had 11 brothers. He was his father's favourite, not quite like the others. His dad gave him a snazzy coat. It was really great. This made his bro so jealous and they were full of hate. Joseph had some dreams that made them really mad. So they threw him in a pit. Now that was really bad. Some men were travelling by one day, so they pulled Joseph out. They sold him as a servant they didn't care about. Their father, who was so upset because they said that Joe had died, he'd been eaten by an animal, but it was all a lie. Joe ended up in Potiphar's house, very grand and very large, and he liked Joe so very much that he put Joe in charge. His boss's wife played a nasty trick and she got Joe in trouble. He was marked down to a prison cell and chained up on the double. God was still with Joseph and the guards liked him as well. So he was put in charge of all the prisoners in the cell. Now Joe could find the meaning when people had some dreams. One day the Pharaoh needed help because his nights were so extreme. Father? Yes, my darling? You know you're doing that poem about Joseph for the kids club? Yes, I am, that's right. 
do you remember when we used to be in that show? Hmm. I do. That was a long time ago when you were both very small, wasn't mm. it? Mm. We, we were in Joseph's and the amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat. That's right. It's amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat. And I'm sure you did it all over the place, didn't oh, you? Oh, we did. Wow. Well, you did always want to play the Pharaoh, Dad. <laughs> I did think that would be quite a funny role to do, especially when he's up there singing that pharaoh. <laughs> Maybe you could try it, Father. What? Do you mean for the video, for the kids' club video? Yeah. Oh, do you think I should then? Now's your chance. Now's my chance. Okay, well, I might have a go at that. Do you know what? I think I will. Well, I was wandering along by the banks of the river when seven fat cows came out of the Nile And right behind them fine healthy animals came seven other cows, a skinny and white. When the thin cows ate the fat cows, which I thought would do them good. But it didn't make him fatter like I thought a monster sufferlicious Because the things were as thin as they'd ever be All the dreamers got me baffled, hey Joseph, tell me what it means Oh, you know the kings ain't stupid But I don't have a clue so don't be cruel, Joe. You gotta help me, beg of you. I was standing up in the community, feel out of town. I saw seven beautiful ears of corn. Well, they were ripe and they were golden, but you guessed it right. Behind them were seven other ears of tattered and torn. Well, in the bad corn the good corn, man, they came up right behind. Yes, it did. And Joseph, here's the punchline. It's really gonna blow your mind and flip your lid. Because the bad corn was as bad as it had ever been. Well, this dream has got me off. She could treat me nice and tell me what it means. Hey, Joseph, why don't you tell me what this crazy, crazy, crazy dream means? Yeah, tell me what a dream means, Joseph, now. Thank you very much. Joe helped him out and God gave him a really clever plan to get through many years of famine that would come upon the land. Joe was put in charge of all the sharing of the food. Everyone around turned up with a humble attitude. One day his brothers came to him, but he wasn't recognised. He tested them and finally they got a big surprise. Joe told them who he really was and forgave them where they stood. What they had planned to harm their bro, God turned round for good. If we trust God like Joseph did, though we'll have ups and downs, God will be with us all the way. He'll cause our turnaround. Wow, well, I don't know where Mr Monkey ended up, but I'm so glad that Father Michael and everyone else from Suncoast helped out to tell the story of Joseph. Wasn't that amazing? And you know what? Joseph, so many bad things seem to happen to him. I mean, got thrown in a pit, and then he got sold as a slave, and then he got accused of something he didn't even do and thrown into prison. But you know what? God had a plan all along, and God turned it around. Joseph became the second most important person in Egypt next to Pharaoh, and he helped rescue the people from the famine that came. So, do you know what? 
Even if things seem to be not working out right or seem to be going wrong, there's one person that we can trust to turn things around for good, and that is God. What amazing news! Well, it's time to say goodbye, but I hope you have an amazing week, and we will see you next week. Maybe at Suncoast Church, if you're able to join us, we would love to see you. If not, join us here online. Take care. Bye. We know, we know in all things, God works for the good of those who love Him. We know, we know in all things, God works for the good of those who love Him. We know, we know in all things, God works for the good of those who love Him. We know, we know in all things, God works for the good of those who love Him.